By default, the DNS server that you use is mostly the one provided by your ISP. But let's say you switch to Smart DNS proxy just to overcome Netflix user restrictions and you want to reassure if it works or not. So is there a way to find out what DNS server that you are using right now? Well yes, there is. Now if you have to find the IP address of your computer, then all you have to do is go to Google and search for what's my IP address and there you have it. However, unlike the IP address, your Mac and the DNS server do not go beyond the router. So there is no way you can find it using an online website. But thankfully, there is a way to do it from the device. All you have to do is open up your command prompt and type in a simple command. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find what DNS server you are using on your Windows, Mac, Android and iOS. If you're interested in a specific part of this video, then click on the timestamp appearing on the screen. However, I will highly recommend you watch the entire video. You will definitely learn something new and I know you are not that busy. But before we get started, I just want to clear one thing that I've seen many people find confusing. Assume you have typical home network where your router is connected to the internet which further connects it to different devices like your computer, smartphone or other media streaming devices like PS4. Now by default, you use the DNS server provided by your ISP. But some people do change their DNS server to like Google if they want a better speed or OpenDNS if they want to block adult content on their network or just SmartDNS proxy if you want to unblock Netflix your restrictions. Now here's the thing, if you change your DNS server on your router, say to SmartDNS proxy, then every device that is connected to your router will automatically start using the DNS that's in your router. However, on top of that, if you change the DNS server on one of your computer to say Google DNS, then only that computer will override the DNS on your router and use the one that you have entered just now. Now with that out of the way, let's see how you can check the DNS server on different devices. To check what DNS server that you are using on your Windows computer, simply open up the command prompt. To do this, press Windows plus R to open up run dialog box and then type in CMD and hit enter. The next thing you need to do is type in the following command that you can see on the screen as we speak. Alternatively, you can also type in ipconfig slash all and then scroll down and look for the DNS field. But this command will make it a little easier for you. I will also have this command in the description of this video so that you can just copy paste it. To check what DNS server that you are using on your Mac or Linux based computer, simply open up the terminal. You can do that on Mac by pressing command plus space and then type in terminal and hit enter. The next thing you need to do is type in the following command that you can see on the screen as we speak. For example, nslookupgoogle.com and then the server address is going to be the current DNS server. Now unlike Windows and Mac, there is no built-in terminal app for Android. But there are a handful of network scanner apps in the market that will let you see your DNS. I suggest using Network Info 2 or Fing. Check out the link in the description below. Both of these applications are free, there are no ads and work as good as any of them. Simply download it from the Google Play Store, open it and then go to Wi-Fi tab. And there you will find the DNS1 and DNS2 entry. Similarly, when it comes to iOS, Network Analyzer is the free app that will show you the useful information about your network. There are two versions of this application. The full version will cost you $3, but since all we need to see is the DNS setting, the free one will also suffice here. In general, DNS update requires you to reboot your device, but in case you don't want to do that, then check out this video on how to flush your DNS cache. So yeah, that's all for now. Check out Smart DNS Proxy if you want to unblock jurisdictions on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, etc. Use the first link in the description below to get 14 day free trial. So this is all for now. It's Pranal signing off and I will see you in the next one. Like always, thank you for watching.